In the last video, we showed the filigree techniques on eight different pattern lens. Today, we'll show you how to color. Here are the tools and materials we'll need. Spatula, dropper, a spray bottle filled with clean water, sand fixing glue, laminating glue, colored sand, sand cups, a cup of clean water. First, we will show you guys how to wash the colored sand. Put the sand into the sand cup. Add water to cover the sand completely. Stir well. Pour off the surface suspension. Wash it again. It's clean right now. Add some water. Until the water level is 5 millimeters above the sand surface. We do not recommend adding any glue to the colored sand, as this will increase the viscosity of the colored sand and is not conducive to making a smooth surface. After washing all the colored sand, then we can start coloring. The preferred order of coloring is from the center to the edge, from the darker color to the light color. So we can color this bird first. First, spray some water on the painting board. This can increase the fluidity of the colored sand and create a smoother surface after coloring. We can choose to use a dropper or spatula to color. We will show you how to use a glass dropper first. Pick up some colored sand, then gently squeeze a rubber cap to let the colored sand flow out evenly. We recommend to fill the colored sand to half the height of the gold wire. Avoid overfilling as it disrupts the smooth flow of colored sand, leading to an even surface. So less is more. Before switching to another color, rinse the remaining colored sand in the dropper with clean water. If the colors are accidentally mixed like this, we can suck it up with a dropper. If it's too dry, we can add water to make it easier. And the refill the color. Similarly, if we want to change the color of a certain area, we can also drop some water there and suck away the colored sand, and then recolor it. Next, we will show how to use a spatula to fill in colors. Scoop up some sand with the tip of the spatula. Then spread the colored sand evenly on the drawing board. Likewise, before switching to a different color, wash the spatula with clean water. After spreading the colored sand, it can be seen that there is an obvious color dividing line here. We can tell the spatula at a 45 degree angle. Sway the rest. Move the spatula back and forth to blend the color.
This can create a smooth and natural color transition. How to get a flatter and smoother surface? The key is to spray water often. This helps the colored sand flow better and make the surface smoother. Spray some water on the board before coloring. Spray some water to make the surface smoother. Alternatively, we can gently swaying the painting board. It can also help the colored sand flow and create a smooth surface. Now the coloring process is finished. We can start to prepare the sand fixing glue. The sand fixing glue needs to be diluted with water in a ratio of 1 to 4. Add one part glue to the spray bottle, then add four parts water, shake evenly. If the surface of the painting is too wet, we need to wait a while. Spray the diluted sand fixing glue when the surface is slightly damp. If you have to do the coloring in multiple sessions, then after each session, apply diluted sand fixing glue on the completed area. For example, if we only finish coloring this bird today, we can choose to spray or use a dropper to apply diluted sand fixing glue onto this completed area. Use a dropper to absorb the diluted sand fixing glue. Drop it evenly on the bird. Sand fixing glue serves to temporarily secure the painting. After applied, if you want to adjust the color in certain areas, you can use a dropper to add a few drops of water to loosen the glue's grip, and then recolor it. If you finish coloring the entire painting in one go, then we can just spray the diluted sand fixing glue on the entire painting. Spray vertically at 25 centimeters away from the painting until the whole painting is wet again and the color turns slightly white. After applying the sand fixing glue, let the painting dry for about three hours depending on temperature until the surface becomes slightly damp. Then, spray the laminating glue. Make sure to shake well before use. Spray until the entire surface of the painting turns white. Laminating glue serves the dual purpose of firmly securing the painting, while also creating a waterproof film on the surface. Finally, find something to cover the painting to prevent dust and pets from ruining your work. Once the painting has dried thoroughly, your artwork is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any further inquiries or topics you'd like us to cover, please feel free to leave your comments below. We'll be sure to create and upload more teaching videos based on your questions in the future. See you next time!